It was homecoming weekend at the University of Dayton. And that was a big deal when we were there. I knew his roommate, but I did not know Frank. And his roommate caught me one day and said, you know, I'd really like Ellen, my girlfriend from Cleveland, to come for homecoming weekend. But she's not allowed to come unless she stays at a home with a family. And he said, I was wondering if she could stay at your house that weekend, you know, with, I lived at home. Then of course my mom and dad, they loved having all of our friends at our house and they said, sure. I was gone all weekend. We kept missing one another the whole time, so I never did meet Frank. And it was maybe a month later then, there was a knock at the door on a Friday night, and here's Dan and this other young man. So I assumed that must be Frank. And they came in and they gave my mom and dad then this crystal vase as a thank you for letting the girls stay at our house that weekend. And, uh, and Jeannie was sitting there, and I thought, well, she's pretty, uh, you know. I'd like to take her on a date. So then when we get back to Founders Hall, a, a month or so goes by, and I said to Dan, Dan, do you think th that girl, I didn't even know her name, do you think that girl would go out with me? And my roommate says, heck no. Only thing you know about is bailing hay and milking cows. And I go, well, I'm going to call her anyway. What's the phone number there? And I call her, and she went out with me. She said yes. I couldn't believe it. She said yes. She'd go out with me. And she's been going out with me ever since. Then we still have the vase in the, in the hutch, in the dining room. That vase was a, a, a big deal. And so we still put flowers in it. Judy mm -hmm. still puts flowers in that vase.